Hi, this is Professor LaPuma of the New Jersey Institute of Technology, recording for my technical communications class, drawing on material from my Fundamentals of Undergraduate Education and Learning text. What we're going to really look at about today is some ranges to consider as you begin to formulate your package so that you know the appropriate level of some certain aspects. In this case, we're going to talk about issues of formality, connection, solicitation, and authority, which help you as you do research about your target and situation determine exactly exactly how to say what you want to say using the appropriate tone and other such issues. So first, let's talk about some of what we're going to look at. And in this case, you're constructing your package, and you really have to consider what the target wants and expects to see. And at the whole time, we're always trying to be professional, but even when you're a professional, there's a balance that has to be struck because, unfortunately, you can't always have one particular way of doing things. Every situation and every target changes how you look at things. And so, when we're looking at this, the idea here is that the target and the situation determine the ranges to use and where do you fall in on that range. So let's actually look at some of these ranges that I've begun to mention and explain them. So the first one is a question of formality. How formal do you want to be? And the less you know about your target, the less you're sure about the situation, the more formal you want to be. And when we talk about formality, we're really talking about here, adhering to some external standard of conduct. The idea is that someone will give you a set of rules to follow. And if you match those rules exactly, you are usually thought of as being very formal. The less you follow those rules and the more relaxed you are, you tend to be less formal and so move toward the side of informality. It's difficult outside of the situation without knowing the players involved and what your goals are to immediately say, oh, well, you have to be this formal or that formal. Generally, you always want to pick a level and be slightly more on the formal side of where you think is appropriate. A little more formal is usually excused because of your, the lack of familiarity that you have with the person. The more formal you are, the safer you might be as you work on these things. So then the next thing we want to talk about is the question of solicitation. Many times your package is asked for, and the way in which it is solicited gives you a clear statement of exactly what the target's looking for. On the other hand, sometimes you are sending things blind. Many times resumes go out this way, where you have no idea if they're even looking for things. And so that would be unsolicited. So the idea here is that, again, the more you are familiar with the situation, the target, and what's expected, it's considered more solicited or more asked for. The less than the more unsolicited. Now, sometimes solicitation doesn't necessarily mean informal. So the idea is that even though someone may ask for something, someone comes up and says, please send me your resume, it doesn't mean that you should be informal. These are not the same measures. They're different things to consider. All right, so now the third thing we want to think about is your relationship or connection to your target. And a lot of times we think of this as a measure of internal or external. The more internal you are, that means you're in the group with them, you're in the know, they know you, you're acquainted with them. The more external something is, is the more it's separate from you, seen as another group, another company. A lot of this comes out when you're sending a, a letter versus a memo, and we'll talk about that in the next presentation. But the idea is that the more you are part of the group, the, it allows you to shorthand a lot of things, not be as formal, because a lot of times there's a lot of assumptions you make about what they already know the more external you view your connection to them. In other words, you're outside of their knowledge base, outside of their group, outside of their understanding, then usually the more formal you have to be and the more unsolicited your documents tend to be viewed as because they don't know who you are. So the idea, again, is that it's a range between these two. Now, the last thing we want to talk about has to do with the power and authority relationship that you have with your target. A, a lot of times... That measure of power, no matter how much your expertise or internal or it's been asked for, you will adjust your level of writing to reflect the condition of power. So, for example, if you send me an email because I'm your teacher, you may be more formal than you might be. When I respond to you as my student, seeing you as a subordinate, I can choose to be less formal if I want without fear of you disregarding it or taking offense at my informality. So instead of signing James M. LaPuma, I might sign it Jim or Jim LaPuma. And so that 
breaks that subordinate level of formality that we say because the idea is that you are my subordinate. Hopefully, eventually, as you negotiate meaning with your package, you'll find a, a balance for each of these levels. But when you're considering your construction of documents and figuring out the different rhetorical situations you find yourself in, these kinds of measures are good areas to begin to understand because they lead you down certain paths. So for example, if with regard to formality, the person asks for a very specific format, that you probably have to be more formal and meet that thing. If you think about whether or not they asked for your document, did the target ask for it, whether it's solicited or not, that will affect how you develop your package and what you put in it. If you are external to them, if you're outside of their group, if they don't know who you are, that's again going to change the way your package looks because it, you then have to introduce yourself in addition to get your message across. And of course, lastly, if you understand the power structure and the connection, the authority of your target and what they're doing, who they have power over, how it all fits together, you'll be much more likely to create a good package that they can both use, access, understand, and which will accomplish your goal. So thank you.